No. I need a video idea that's going to stand out. I need something that's going to be great. I need inspiration. Oh, I've got an idea. I'll ask Ryan Giggs. I'll see if he's got any inspiring thoughts. Come on, Ryan Giggs. Give me some inspiration. What video do you want me to do today? Why don't you do that video? That video that Shea Ken requested. That King's Dominion five-year plan. You know what? That's a pretty cool idea, Ryan. Thank you very much. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadong Stubborn, Book Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Prediction video. Now today, with the inspiration of Ryan Giggs and one of our subscribers, Shay Ken, big shout out to you, we have a Theme Park Predictions 5 year plan prediction video from King's Dominion. So today we're going to be looking at the next 5 years, in my personal opinion, for King's Dominion. Now before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next Q&A to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So, before we have a look at the next five years predictions, let's have a look back at the last decade of King's Dominion. So starting off with 2010. Now in 2010, the park added an Intamin Giga Coaster called Intamin 3, uh, Intimidator, Intamin, of course, it's made by Intamin, but it's Intimidator 305. As well as that, Nickelodeon Central became Planet Snoopy, Boo Blasts on Boo Hill replaced Scooby-Doo and the Haunted Mansion, and there was a retracking of Rebel Yell, or sections of Rebel Yell. In 2011, Snoopy's Starlight Spectacular was introduced, Shockwave repainted a brand new colour, Grizzly had you know, parts of it retract, and El Dorado attraction closed. In 2012, they brought in Dinosaurs Alive, Fast Lane debuted at the park, and also Windseeker, which is their swing ride. Dinosaur 3D replaced SpongeBob SquarePants 3D with the motion seats removed. This is also the final year for Snoopy's Splash Dance, Yogi Cave, and five other Kidsville rides. And then, Planet Snoopy expanded seven acres in 2013 and merged with Kidsville with brand new rides. In 2014, the 40th anniversary celebrations were introduced, International Street Fountain was restored, and the Candy Apple Grove and Safari Village returned with the retrofitting of Volcano the Blast Coaster and Anaconda, Anaconda both being refitted. Or retrofitted, should we say. 2015, the 40th anniversary celebrations continue with the expansion of Waterworks and its renamed to Soak City, including Aqua Blast, Paradise Plunge, Splash Island, and Thunder Falls. There was also the closure of Hurler and Shockwave. 2016, they opened a brand new flat ride in the section of Shockwave's location called Delirium, which was a frisbee ride manufactured by Mondial. 2017, Planet Snoopy expanded once again with the addition of Kite Eating Tree, Sally's Seaplane and Peanuts 500. They also closed their Tornado attraction. And in 2018, their big coaster opened, Twisted Timbers, on the site of the Hurler. It's a Rocky Mountain construction uh, re re redoing of, of Hurler with the hybrid track. And of course, Twisted Timbers was born. Rebel Yell was renamed to Racer 75 and Ricochet was renamed to Apple's Apple. In 2019, Big Wave Bay was brought in, Dinosaurs Alive and Volcano of the Blast Coaster closed at the park, and in 2020 they expand Soak City with Coconut Shore sub area and also the closure of their host top spin, The Crypt. So all in all for King's Dominion's last decade, it's very much um it's it's very much a uh, mixed decade because they've introduced some new shows, they brought in some new entertainment, they brought in some new attractions, some new coasters, a new family rides, a thrill ride or two, they closed a couple of coasters, one for the Rocky Mountain construction conversion and of course the other one for a new flat ride but I think the Shockwave, you'll be surprised actually uh, about the Shockwave site because there's some involvement in this prediction somewhere. 
but yeah, very mixed last 10 years, but now I'm going to predict the next 5 years, and just the same as the rest of the videos, I'm going to be going through uh, and basically just predicting, you know, the next 5 years when it gets to 2025, you know, when we get to 2025, that's when I'll predict the next 5 years for these parks, so, you know, this is going to be... Um, an ongoing process this is going to be a next five year process and then maybe I'll move on and do the next 10 years and then wait 10 years and do the next video for the next 10 years from that uh, so you'd be very surprised how many videos prediction videos will do from each of these parts so let's have a look at my predictions for the next five years at Kings Dominion in Doswell Virginia starting off with 2021 now in 2021 I've decided that my prediction is very very simple it's going to be an SNS 4D free spin to replace the Crypt Flat Ride. Now, we said earlier that the Crypt Flat Ride closed the year after Volcano in 2020, uh, or pretty much at the end of the 2019 season, they removed it going into the 2020 season, and the Crypt was gone. And of course, there's always been these rumors and filings for a possible SNS 4D free spin, whether it's longer or shorter than the Six Flags ones or the independent ones in Japan or around the world. We don't know at this point. Uh, in my opinion, I think it could potentially be shorter, especially with the site they've got to work with. However, I think it will be an SNS 43 spin, and I think that's the main thing. And it's something that I'm going to spoil right now that's going to go into those mid season predictions for Six Flags Cedar Fair and Miller Entertainments for those three videos. I personally believe that King's Dominion and Dorney Park will be the focus for Cedar Fair's 2021 new investment because they've already got coasters in the planning, so we're pretty much there already. Uh, but I do believe that we're going to see an SNS 43 free spin replace the crypt. I think that is the option for the crypt site in 2021. Moving in then to 2022, and I believe they're going to go small here and go for a brand new water slide. Now you see the site located uh, near a couple of their slide complexes. It's quite a big site that I've circled, and that is because I would like to see some kind of water coaster. Now it could be a multi-slide complex, so you have the end of the pool at what, like the pool end at one end, and then at the other end you got the start of the complex. Now it could be anything but two slides. It could be two dueling water coasters. You look at. Uh, Cheetah Chase at Holiday World that's set to come this year, but I think it may come in 2021. Uh, you look at Cheetah Chase and you sort of see that sort of water coaster, you think, how about a dueling? How about a dueling one of them? Um, something like that. So I'd like to see a dueling water coaster of Kings Dominion. That would be great. It'd be a great addition to Soak City, and I think it'd be a great thrill water coaster. It'd be one of the most thrilling water coasters or water attractions in the water park. So I would like to see that, in my opinion. Moving into 2023 and all throughout the end of 2021 and 2022, I would believe we're going to see work for 2023, and that is a brand new roller coaster replacing Volcano the Blast Coaster. Now, that closed in 2019, and we've always thought, well, some of us have always thought, back to back coaster years. However, with this pandemic, I personally believe they're going to hold off from a year and they're going to introduce Volcano's replacement in 2023. I think 2021 will be a filler year, 2022 will be a year for con the main construction work to begin on Volcano's replacement, but in the meantime, add something to Soak City, do some upgrades around the park, etc. But 2023 is the main coaster year. 2021 is just a nice filler coaster, it's a good crowd pleaser to prepare us for 2023, which is going to be even more thrilling. Yes, it may seem like 2021's investment may be obsolete compared to 2023. However, I personally believe that we are going to see a big new roller coaster in 2023 at King's Dominion. Now, what type? We do not know. Now, personally, I wouldn't hold out for a wing coaster. Now, my only reason for that is because they already put the plans in, then they shelved them, uh, because it, it, obviously there's many reasons to why the wing coaster plans were shelved. Uh, but I believe there's a there's a potential opportunity that could go in with a bigger and better one. However, I think that Cedar Fair could go along the Copperhead Strike route and do a Mac double launch. Now, I might be wrong. I may be wrong. However, I think it's definitely possible. 
I think that Cedar could potentially go the Jersey Devil route and do an extended Raptor coaster. Again, King's Dominion's like one of the it's not the biggest park in the Cedar Fair chain, like Cedar Point and King's Dominion, but uh, King's Island, sorry. But it's you know, it's getting towards that stage hopefully in the future. So maybe capacity will be an issue for this, but again, maybe they introduce some two person per car trains and introduce a longer train so it'll be a custom layout. It would be nice to see a custom layout. Um, Raptor coaster, you know, maybe break the height, speed, length, and inversion record for a, for a single rail coaster, a Raptor coaster, as it's traditionally known in RMC. Uh, however, I think that it's bet it's between that and a multi launch with the possibility of a wing coaster. I think that's the only three options I could see. Inverted coaster, well. Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, down the road, I've already got one. Dive Coaster, again, same story with Griffin. At Busch Gardens, Williamsburg. So it can't be another Alpen, guys, and it can't be another Griffin. It can't even be a Verbolton, because how can the how can Cedar Fair outdo Verbolton? It looks fantastic. So I think that a Wing Coaster, because Busch Gardens haven't got one, a Mac multi-launch, which is something that I think could rival the Intamin ones, like Pantheon, and of course this Dragon Spire that's set to come in 2021, uh, and of course the RMC Raptor Coaster, the extended one, not like the clone of Railblazer at Wonder Woman, uh, at California's Great America, or, Go or Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Not one of those clones, because that is of course not a big enough investment for that site in my opinion. So, either one of those three, a custom Raptor, a B&M Wing, or a map multi-launch like a Copperhead Strike. But I think we're going to see a brand new coaster in 2023. Moving in then to 2024, and this is another section of the Shockwave site, and I think we're going to see a brand new family ride. Now this is next to Delirium, like I said on the former site, over the, the Shockwave Togo stand-up coaster. I never got the chance to do that ride, but um, I'm not entirely sure where that's gone. I know Skyrider at Canada's Wonderland moved to uh, Italy. Uh, to become, I think it's called Freestyle now at Caval Cavallino Motto, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly where Shockwave's gone. I don't know if it's been scrapped, I don't know if it's gone anywhere. I'm not too sure. So, if any of you know, please let me know. Uh, but, um, I think we're going to see a brand new family ride next to uh, Delirium. And I think we're going to see something, again, themed like Delirium. So, something like... Um, Something like a head over heels type theme. Something where you're like, you're part of this looping device and you're sort of like a looping testing device. Something like a Zamperla Hawk. Now you look at Lumberjack at Canada's Wonderland and you look at how nice that looks and how permanent that looks. I think something like that with a permanent theme would look very, very well at King's Dominion. And it would be a great family thrill ride to add to their lineup as well. It's, it's, a, good, it's a good inverting flat ride that would fill their gap. Moving in finally then to 2025, and I think we're going to see a water park expansion slash water slide complex. Uh, now this potential water slide complex could very well be a fantastic welcoming addition to the park. Uh, now I'm not sure exactly what they do, whether it be a, a massive family structure or something like that. Um, but I do personally believe that... Um, Obviously, we know that 2024 will be, um, you know, well, sorry, 2025 uh, will be 50 years of the park as well. So I think they're going to focus on the water park in terms of brand new investments. However, I personally believe that we're going to see a brand new water site complex to sort of give something to the water park. And I think they're going to take the 50th anniversary water park celebrations as well. I think they're going to take celebrations in the theme park and the water park. I think we're going to see both parks gaining anniversary celebrations. But I think in terms of new investments, we're going to see a brand new new family complex in the water park and you can see the massive site that I've got lined up for this complex uh, so it could be multiple complexes for the families it could be you never know uh, but there we go guys so that is the next five years at King's Dominion uh, like I said very 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 different predictions that maybe some of you were expecting obviously there's a family ride in there a couple of water slide or water park additions obviously celebrations for the 50th anniversary when it gets to 2025 2024 2025 uh, to continue those celebrations um, 
obviously, a uh, big one there is the new coasters, obviously the new 4D free spin that I think will replace Crypt next year, and of course this new coaster to replace Volcano in 2023. So, very different. Um, I think the King's Dominion will be the focus for 2023, I think. I'm not, in terms of coasters for 2022, I'm not sure who will be the focus, but I know that 2021 will be Dominion and Dorney. 2023 will definitely be King's Dominion. Whether Cedar Point gets one as well in 2023, I'm not too sure. Uh, however, that's up to them. And of course, somebody did say do a Cedar Point five-year prediction plan, so I may do that. So um, I'm looking to the research on that as well as the other five-year plans suggested. Uh, but yes, I'm going to talk about them in that video. But there we go. So that's my next five-year predictions for King's Dominion. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name is Coach Child. Keep on the Coast Live. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.